Hi! Um, today is Friday. It's about 11.30. And I am, as you can see, uh, I want to go out. Uh, I want to go uh, grab a food. Not grab a food. I want to go have lunch. Immediately because I woke up slightly late. Around 10, 10.30. So by the time I already finished getting ready, it's almost lunchtime. So I might as well just... You know, grab my food outside, have lunch outside before going to my destination. I am planning to go to Piccadilly, most probably. Just to visit some bookstores because I, I made like a research last night. That was the reason why I slept late. I slept around like 1 in the morning because I was doing research about bookstores available in London that is close to tube stations. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, this is the near Tottenham Court Road. But I figured maybe I want to try the one that is near Piccadilly Circus, Piccadilly Line, by riding on the Piccadilly Line. You know, because I was shocked to to find out that there are so many bookstores just within walking distance from these tube stations. So I want so I'll figure out like I wanna dang, I wanna I wanna go. I wanna go. I wanna check them yeah. out. I was thinking to maybe um eat near uh, eat at any halal restaurants available at Piccadilly Circus. But it's Piccadilly though. You know what I mean? I think I might be broke <laughs> if I were to go have my lunch over there. So I'm gonna try to eat here first before going to Piccadilly. Because I never ride on the Piccadilly line before, so I figure, you know what, not? I guess I could give it a try. Yeah. And I think what makes it, what's, what, what is gonna make it good is that all of these bookstores are located in, in a city, in a town. So like, where there is a bookstore, there's going to be like other interesting place that I can go and check them out as well. Let's go. Enough talking. Let's go.
and that she didn't feel that. Uh -oh.
Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, it's it. That's for another time. That's for another time. Okay. Um, but yeah, Peter Hopkirk is always very interesting. Did you did you ever read the Thirty Nine Steps? No. Oh, you never. Ah, okay. Well, he does some very good, um, very easy to read. <laughs> They're not books. You know, that's the thing. You're right doing it like that. But I think we would need the book. And I mean, it, I think, it, you know, that's the thing. He's not going to do himself any favours sitting next to, you know. It's like different paintings in Berlin with like captions. Oh my god, wait, that's so cute. I love that. Let's improve those paintings. That's a. No, I don't need a general. 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 I don't
arrived at my room and it's slightly drizzling outside so that is why I am all drenched slightly drenched but thank God for a place that is close to my house I mean I cannot talk uh, thank God for a place that is close to the tube station that's what I want to say so that was really nice i would say um really interesting to discover what is actually the biggest my back anyway it was very interesting to discover what is actually the biggest bookstore in europe okay like i finally went to waterstone Piccadilly like that is the iconic one and although you know Picc uh, I although you know Waterstone is actually available almost everywhere because it's a chain bookstore but I'm glad I went to Piccadilly you know I get to watch um, the huge ad you know the huge screens and then you know the 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 statue, I think it, it is supposed to be a water fountain, but I'm not sure now. You know, there are there were so many iconic landmarks there. So I was really glad that I came down. It was pretty cool. You know, I went to Waterstone. I, I went into Mason, but apparently it was not really... Okay, it's still a bookstore. But it's not the kind of books that I'm looking for or I'm interested in, you know, it's just basically it's uh, they sell art, fashion books, you know, photography books, that kind of thing. But then I went to Hatchards, Hatchards Piccadilly. There, it is in another bookstore uh, at Piccadilly Circus and that was really nice too. So and because of that, I think I should at least share with you guys two books that I bought for my journey one from Waterstone another one from Hatchards first of all let me hydrate ah! with my sightseeing it was already drizzling outside and I was thinking to maybe drop by at a cafe to have like a cup of coffee so I went into Waterstone there were two coffee shops inside Waterstone the nearest one to me that has like an outside view apparently already closed the, the moment I entered. It was around 4 o'clock at the time. They already closed at 4 o'clock. And, 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 the, and the lady said, oh, uh, you can go to the lower ground one. Which, I don't know, because I was in the mood to like have a cup of coffee while having a view. The lower ground one doesn't have a view. It doesn't have an outside view. So I was like, eh. You know, so I ended up went straight away to the tube station to go back to my place <laughs> ah. Ah. sitting down is bliss so I bought two number one let, let's go by order though this is the first book that I bought can you see it can you see it The Liar by Steve Kavanaugh you know I have been looking for this book in Malaysia and the only place that sort of sell a lot of um, Steve Kavanaugh's books is Kinokuniya but they don't stock up this title though like you have to or straight away order from the supplier and then and then they will like send uh, the book to you like within a month so I decided to find this book in London and I got it man I got it 
at Waterstone Piccadilly, but it was an effort, you know, because um, his books are really limited at a lot of bookstores, you know, like the only the only display like a few titles, like only one or two titles of his books, you know, and thank God Waterstone has The Liar. I already started reading it in 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 the two. Yeah, just a little bit, just a few pages. Just a few pages, but I'm very happy. Yes, it is 8.99 pounds, so it's 9 pounds, technically, yeah. So I'm gonna, who knows, you know, this is gonna be my weekend read. Another wine I bought from Hatchard Piccadilly. It's literally just like one road, just on the same street. So like from Waterstone, I just walk straight and then it's already hatchet it's already hatchet spaghetti so i bought this joe biden um promises to keep you know i mean well i i really love um his book uh promise me that oh the saddest book i have ever read in my entire life like i legit when i was trying to like read skim this skim this book um at hatchets you know to like just to make sure whether I am really interested with this book, I remembered the emotion reading Promise Me That. It was so emotional, like it reminded me of the time that I helped my mother to look after my um, late grandmother. It was so touching. So I feel like, I just, I just feel like I cannot resist Joe Biden's writing, most probably. Like, Give me the feels, you know, give me the feels, yeah, yeah, regardless of his, I don't know, like, the way um, he does his politics, the way he do things, I'm still very interested, you know, in his personal life, and that's the reason why I think this is good, yeah, so I bought this at Hatchet's Piccadilly, so yeah, these are two books that I bought from my journey. Very happy and it's so cool. It was it was really um, it was a really cool um, sightseeing. Such an exercise, you know, because Waterstone has like five levels, you know, from lower ground to the fifth floor, and then same goes to Hatchet, and I didn't even like. Yeah, I, I took some time to sit down to like skim through my book. Um, but other than that, I didn't take the time to like hydrate myself. So, but anyway, I thought it was really cool. Um, it was my first time riding on the Piccadilly line. Yeah, it's cute. It's pretty. Um, oh, definitely way prettier than Central Line. But it was very interesting because I... Like I said, I've never ride on Piccadilly Line. I've never uh, had the opportunity to reach until Piccadilly Circus because I think I only stop um, midway until Reno, until um, Regent Street, Regent Street, Oxford Street. Like I was, I realized like I was this close to reaching Piccadilly Circus when I was checking the map, and then I realized. Oh, Piccadilly Circus is just right next to Regent Street and I went to Regent Street with my parents but we didn't go all the way to Piccadilly Circus we turned around I think it was oh my god like this close but think uh, but it's pretty cool that I get to do that today and I'm so grateful right now it's what time is it I don't know Wait. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's 4.53 So I hope you guys enjoy the video um, I will try to do more definitely I want to, com I want to commemorate every um, exploration that I am doing here in London So uh, I appreciate all the love and support and I will see you guys next time Bye-bye.